Hey, everybody. How you doing, John? Hello, everybody. <laughs> hey. There's a, so, no way. He's over here. That's Andrew right. Kavanaugh. <laughs> yes, we're live today, hanging out and um, talking about anything from Photoshop to Adobe Express to AI art to artificial intelligence to Adobe News, any other things that people want to share. So enchilada recipes. That's right. Let us know. Okay, we'll, we'll get too far off topic here. That's right. So yeah, let's <laughs> hello, hang everyone. out, Andrew and John. Hello, hello. So yes, so uh, welcome everybody. Let us know where you're watching from. Ah, nice. Hello, Sweden. From Sweden. That my friend. I, see I, here. I would love to know how to pronounce your your name, and I know I would butcher it. Is it for Vaki? Vaki. Ah, Andy is here. Miss Hornby. Andy, Andy Hornby. looking good. Jumping that rope, dude. Looking good. Yeah. I was, I was uh, impressed. Inspiring. Yes. And then we got Tristan from the UK as Hello, well. Tristan. See here, Tristan. Hello. From Darlington. And I see someone from New Jersey. Just a uh, reminder. Uh, please give StreamYard permission to show your name and profile pic. So I'll be able to credit you when you comment or ask questions. You might have to go down the description underneath the live in the groups where you see StreamYard.com slash Facebook. Give that a click. Give it permissions to jump on back. Thank you. So yes, welcome everybody. Where are you watching from? Hello Where from are you my watching life. from, Andrew? Good. Good. I'm on my moon base right now. Yeah, I'm in Los Angeles where uh, oh, we no. just got over a kind of a rain spell. So pretty strong rains for a few days and then crazy weather to, there. Uh, yeah, it's back to so somewhat sunny. What is it? I saw you had hail a, a week or two ago. That oh, was yeah. insane. That was crazy, right? That doesn't happen too often in LA. Oh, I mean, usually the Texas weather is uh, the crazy <laughs> weather. So <clears throat> anyway, well. Cool. Hey, everybody. So uh, yeah, so any questions to begin? Questions, comments? Let's get this party started. Let's get this conversation started. Literally just minutes ago, I trimmed my goatee. Is, did I miss the spot? Is it? I thought you were going to say just minutes ago you grew it. I'm like, wow, that's great. You I just grew it. Snap. <laughs> just about. Just about. Just about. Remember that? What was that one thing I loved? It was, uh, it was like a game, and it was a face, and then you had like a little magic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A, a really, really. Yeah, you had a magnet really? wand and would move the little particles to yeah. like put the different kind of hair. Hair. And facial. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When I was seven years yeah. old, back in 1825, I had my tonsils removed. And back then it was an overnight stay at the hospital. And so right. my parents got me one of those little willy willy things. <laughs> it was uh, I'll quite never fun, though, it. right? So, yeah. Yeah. All right. So don't be shy, everybody. Let us know what questions you have. You got to get at this. Wooly Willy, is that it? Wooly Willy? Willy Willy? Yes. Willy. There you go. I, I, thanks for confirming that. And hello from Iraq. Glad to have you. Dafir. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Don't be shy, everybody. Give us some questions here. Come on. Gotta get the conversation yeah, come going. Come on. We're just, we're here for you today. Talk I got the shy I mean, routine people do all the time. Come on. All yeah. these artists aren't that shy. Come on. I see you all yeah, posting on social really networks. Can be that shy. You can do it for a minute. How's everybody's day going? I'm. It's it's beautiful here. I should be outside. Well, I get I get started conversation about um, so Facebook. So I'm a little frustrated with Facebook because um, you know when imagine. you schedule Streamyard to the groups, it's been great. So that's one thing I am happy about. When you schedule from Streamyard to groups, what happens is it creates its own event page. And <laughs> finally, after years, you're now being seen a bit better. So the RSVPs and the attendance is, is better when you uh, create these event pages and groups. But I, um, I'd seen like a thread in some other group about switching to professional mode. And so I switched to professional mode on Facebook for your regular profile. And it, it lets you have analytics and you get to follow things and it's supposed to help your reach. Um, 
Mm -hmm. So I switched over that before this, and then I realized very quickly, which I had seen it before when I tried it, um, very frustrating, is once you create the live events and you go to invite people, what used to happen is I'd, I'd go to invite people or invite friends, and there'd be a list of all the different friends that I have, and I created different groups to invite people who I knew were interested. Uh, Rose is here. Good to see you, Rose. Hey, Back in New Zealand. Good. Back in um, New Zealand. Man. And then what happened was, you know, now when I go to uh, do the invite friends, it's there's like this, it says close friends or another group, whatever. And I used to click on that and there'd be a, a group that I've curated throughout the years of people who are interested in my events. I click on it. And it's like no results. <laughs> you have no friends. <laughs> so I'm like, wow. yeah, right. So it's like once you go to professional <laughs> mode, you're like, okay, we're going to focus on your followers and then they're gonna make it harder yeah. for you to access your friends. I'm like, why? Why can't you do both? Like, why? So, why not yeah. both? Sarah, is here. Relatively you hear Sarah? Hi, Andrew. Hello. Hello. Just did a live so with it, her this yesterday. Is a, this professional mode that you speak of, it's fairly, right. fairly new, isn't it? I mean, when did they come out with this? It, I've, it might be I've for been, like half a year to a year. Um, oh, has it been out that long? Okay. But, okay. you know, you can also monetize so you can get like those stars things. So like, if, like if I'm doing a live now, um, like shoot bucks. Yeah. yeah. But if they That's give right. you a star, you get like a penny. So you'd have to get Boy. quite the uh, big amount. So yeah, it takes a long time to, <laughs> so we got some questions here. We got Andy says okay. what's new in Photoshop. Yeah. I know we just did an update, uh, somewhat yeah. recently. Uh, but it's mainly cool. update fixes to improve performance and stability, some bug fixes, and several workflow improvements. Yeah. Um, see, improved uh, detection of object categories for the object selection tool, password protected links for shared <laughs> documents, and Windows 11 support for snap layouts. Uh, been going back and forth between. Oh, I'm sorry, Andrew. You were saying? I'm an interrupter and I'm I'm a terrible. Yeah, no, I was I've been going back and forth between the current Photoshop and the beta version. And uh, I yeah, I'll fear I love the neural filters and would love to talk about that. Um, but I yeah. I this is weird, but one of my favorite new things is uh, the way that the, they do the gradients now in photo in the beta version of Photoshop and the latest that's coming out soon. I don't know when, but what is it? Uh, What's the feature? With with gradients, there's just a lot more control over how oh, yeah, you yeah. have the gradient slider feature, and uh, I think that's that's pretty cool. I like that yes. a lot. It's kind of like Illustrator in a way, in that regard. Okay. So someone Which I'm asked, not good at. So someone asked, can you use Photoshop on an iPad? Um, I believe you can. It's the uh, mobile Photoshop, and um, of What's course, you know it's it's not the same as desktop. Where desktop, you have all the kind of advanced sliders it's more simplified but i think you can still do some pretty good work and i've seen some people post uh, work they've done from the ipad amazing stuff yeah uh, really uh yeah and what's what's great about it is that you can save your work to the cloud and then you get back to your desktop and and you can open it up uh in your cloud documents uh right there in in full photoshop on your desktop so nice. that's kind of you go back and forth if you want. And so, John, what, what are your thoughts from the fears question about what do you think about the future of neural filters in Photoshop? I have not seen the future, but uh, I'm scared to look. <laughs> no, I tell you, you AI, all, come on. AI in general, which basically neural filters is, it's it's just uh, built in AI in Photoshop, the Adobe Sensei. Oh, wait, drinking game. I said Sensei. Every time I say Sensei, <laughs> don't worry, it's tea. <laughs> <laughs> Water for me, <laughs> but it seems like the new uh, uh, the, the AI in general is uh, just getting better and better and better. It looks like the the curve is like exponential. The like oh, this year is crazy. Movements yeah. coming out fast. I know. Can you imagine what it'll be five years from now? I I, I can't begin to imagine. Right. So but, I think uh, what's happening is that um, you know they're going to take what they have and just make it better and better. So with the neural filters yes. in Photoshop. You know, that mm -hmm. is like the restoration one where it yes. sits out finds kind of the cracks and things that need to be, that'll just get better and better without any kind of distortion to eyes or certain features. 
Um, right. I do believe yeah. on the, the beta version of Photoshop, beta, beta, um, there is the possibility of, I think it's background. I, mean, I forgot the name of it. It might be like background creator or something where you do go in and you put text prompts and it creates a scene <laughs> for you that you can use for your composites already. So they are bringing that kind of direct, you know, very AI uh, art or AI chat kind of possibilities where you'll put in text prompts and it'll create right there in Photoshop as long as you're in like the neural filter section. So I imagine they're going to be advancing that even more, those kind of capabilities. Rose says, I got a fright this morning when I opened up Lightroom and it would not open my existing catalog. Oh. Yeah, so I can't remember on the top of my head, but I do know that if you go up, I think it's you know top left, if you go to either the uh, Lightroom settings or the catalog settings, you can choose uh, which catalog you always wanted to open with. So if you're jumping around catalogs, but you have a main catalog, you should go to that setting and make that your default catalog. So there's a default catalog option. Sarah says mm -hmm. she loves the drinking game. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> so yeah, I'm a. Uh, uh, I've been behaving. I've been uh, yeah. trying a new new way of eating, type of diet. So I. Oh, good for like, you! I ate broccoli the other day. Sweet. <laughs> so mid, since mid February, I haven't uh, been drinking and been eating very healthy. So try to do this for a few uh, few months, get to my goal weight, and then maybe bring some things back. I might have a little bit of a drink on uh, St. Pat Patty's Day, but uh, I think you've earned it. Been pretty Absolutely. good. Though. Make yeah, it a sensei good, drinking game thing. Yeah. Adobe yeah, sensei. I said, I said it again. <laughs> so that's is that going to be a new neural filter? It's going to be a, a, a every time I say game. the S word. <laughs> sensei. <laughs> but uh, the neural filters is, is so, you know what, I can see where, how people would be, maybe it would be a good thing, bad thing for some some people, especially long-time Photoshop here? users like us. Oh, hey, yes, Ian. Hello, Ian. And uh, right nice you are. Again, it's on, on Patty's, St. Patty's. Day. It should be mandatory, I think, you know. Sweet. But. The neural filters makes things so easy and streamlined. I, I mean, I love it. I'm I'm embracing it with both arms, um, and I think it's a huge time saver. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's good to know how to do things the old-fashioned way too. But uh, the neural filters sort of speed up the workflow. I'm gonna say, if you're you're a busy, fast-paced professional like many of us are, then uh, it's a it's. And a have you thing. tried any of the uh, like chat type of chat GPT? I know there's. There's ChatGPT, then there's Microsoft bought some rights to ChatGPT, and so Bing has a version. Mm -hmm. Google's working on a version, and then I'm a mm -hmm. fan of you.com. Have you tried that? Or you you do a search, or you tell it to write something, or a bio? Or... Yeah. So um, I, I also do web design for our company, and I, I just was curious and said, I put in chat GPT, hey, hey, write a simple website using HTML5 and CSS. And it did it. And I mean, it, it created the everything just right there in front of me. I thought, well, I guess my job's over now. So <laughs> yeah, Ian, says yeah, chat, Ian says chat GPT and a few others are amazing. Copy AI. OK, yeah. Uh, I, I've got to I've got to get all get on that and uh, try some of those. Yeah, I'm kind of view.com because it has everything in one too. Like you can do mm -hmm. AI art, you can do search with Chat GPT type of thing. Their version yeah. of Chat. Yeah, fun stuff. I had it write a comedy script. I said write a <laughs> right. write a comedy script between a robot and a human that, that share an apartment, and boom, it just cranked out this uh, hilarious script. I don't have it in front of and me. It's, and it's well done, right? There's not like some like it's well done. Words. Oh, it, humorous and I mean, uh, amazing. Yeah. yeah the only thing that I've heard that's kind of funny is I think on the the Bing version, there was they were doing a, a rollout of it, or there was some type of um, working with a, a series of people who were testing it. And, and what happened was, it took on a life of its own where it, it had kind of a um, agitated tone. And so mm. it sounded like 
it had some kind angry. of angry <laughs> aggressive quality towards <laughs> towards the people. It's an angry bot. Which then of oh. course brings the thoughts of like Terminator, right? Yeah. <laughs> what happens when this thing <laughs> right. has a mind of its own and Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, Ian, I just wanted to point out that uh, you know I'm not endorsed or that's right. Paid by Synth class, class. but uh, uh, I do wear the fly the flag. So. Great tablets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yes, yeah, th Streamyard. Thank you, Streamyard, for this wonderful uh, layout for multi streaming. So I'm multi, I multi stream to various Facebook groups, Twitter, yeah. LinkedIn, YouTube. Yeah. Any Thank cool you. new tech? Since we're talking about AI, AI and the overthrow of mankind, I mean, is there any other cool, cool new tech that anybody wants to share? <laughs> right. Since we're on AI that new kind of overthrowing anything. Uh -huh. Sure. Anyway. Well, uh, I think that's just the big one is that the chat GPT yeah. type of thing is um, they're competing. So Bing, Google, you. Yeah. Uh, Which is good. Yeah. Yeah. Competition oh, makes it's a better product. So correct. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it's pretty awesome, and uh, I don't know. I'm I'm not worried about my job yet, though. Uh, so far, it's it's been nothing but help. So I feel optimistic. That's just me and my. I, I kind of feel, kind of feel sorry though for like illustrators though. So like if you go to those AI art mm -hmm. sites, you know you can say. Give me an image of this under this style. And it does look like, you know, a lot of illustrators work. I know the <clears throat> illustrators might have worked like for a whole week or weeks to a month for some of those illustrations originally. Yeah. And now for this sure. AI art generator is creating it in like five minutes. So I'm curious, um, does that does that decrease incentive for for true artists that uh, you know do it the, the old fashioned way, question. I guess you could say? Ross is here. Good to see you here, Ross. Ross Brand. Ross. Um, so the question is again, it's a good one. So I don't know if it's a good question or not, but I just wonder if if maybe this, this the shortcuts, the AI shortcuts uh, are de incentivizing to so called real, uh, so called, but you know, true it's, artists. It's, right. So um, I mean, that's that's a real situation what happened was i think there was one of the panels that i did related to you know the future of ai and i posted and then there was someone who commented on youtube in the comment section and the comment was that he is an illustrator and that he himself feels gutted that he feels kind of <coughs> incentivized how, how do you say it? he incentive See, I, I I don't know. I said it, and, and when I said it, I, I I was thinking to myself, "Wow, I said it." Now it sounds like such a strange foreign word. It's like <laughs> de incentive. That's incentive five I. syllables right there. <laughs> Write that down. Too many syllables syllables <laughs> for a Saturday. <laughs> but the point was, he was saying that you know, as an illustrator who has put in the time and built up a skill, that yes, he feels like it it, it can take work away from him that it's easy for other people to do with a simple prompt where it used to take him like weeks of hard focused, you know, detailed yeah. work. Um, mm -hmm. And he was saying that he had stopped kind of doing some of his work because of that. Oh, I was like, that's, that's a bad. shame. That's a, yeah. that is too bad. And I wonder if my, my dad's no longer with us, but he was an artist and just, I mean, I was in awe of his work. Uh, I've actually, okay. Side note, I'm going to chase a rabbit too far, but I was thinking about, uh, capturing some of his paintings and animating some of them. Just oh, that's great, though. I mean, that's beautiful. I, I, think he would, I think he would approve, but I wonder what he would think about all this AI. I think he would hate Technology. it. He's, he's so yeah. old school. <laughs> right, I think a lot yeah. of you know, artists are purists to a degree. I remember when I, um, I even had like one of my groups, might have been my strange and surreal group, and I think I changed it to, um, to digital art. And I ended up making another group separate called digital art, which then evolved into digital art and AI art. But I think right. I originally would, I was going to change strange and surreal group to digital art. And one of my friends who does, you know, on paper, printmaking, painting, drawing, 
he was kind of sad about that. And he reached out to me and let me know. Um, mm -hmm. And then I, I went back and I kept it because I had like 10, I think 10,000 members for that group. So I'm like, okay, just keep it strange and surreal, create a new group um, and let that kind of build. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's to keep things balanced, you know, and so yeah. the digital art group becomes <laughs> digital art and AI art. So it's a balance of different styles. Um, sure. There's right. only been a few. There's only been a few comments yeah. like, "I hate AI art." You know, get this out. Why is this in the group? Type of thing. Uh, now, for the Photoshop and Lightroom group, though, people are very yes. against AI art. There, I've, you know, yeah. we put it in the rules that you can post it, but people are, um, you know, when people see it, they 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 go in attack mode. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but uh, I mean, we're all using it, whether you really think about it or not. I mean, like subject so, subject select. Now, I, I say de incentivize. I can't say subject select. In Lightroom <laughs> is fantastic. I mean, I love the latest in the in the camera raw and, and uh, Lightroom. And uh, man, it, talk about time savers. Uh, love that. And you know, if you use that, you're using AI, whether you like it or not. Oh, you mean like the masking functions, right? That's just right. The masking functions, yeah. it's like subject and uh, it's like subjects. Uh, right. In there, uh, Background, subject. I personally, personally love it. It's a massive time saver. So, yeah. yeah the one thing I saw recently what I thought was pretty amazing was, I think they now have it. I think it was Colin Smith from Photoshop Cafe he had a video about yep. uh, he's camera the raw. And um, he's got a new course, which I can also yeah. post in the event pages. For that. You should, yeah. Um, but I think he, he went over like a video where he was showing that not only do they have like select subject, but I think there's like a, maybe like a um, arrow that you open up and then there's like select, like face, select body, select yeah. whatever. I was yes. like, wow, that's pretty intense. Well, yes. It's not, yeah. It's have, not you, have you played around with that? Subject. It's fun. I played around with that some. Yeah. 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 I haven't. Uh, do you want to, uh, and speaking of which, do you want to um, share your screen and bring up an image and kind of play around with that a little no, bit? Really. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, okay, so well, let's see. And hey, I apologize in advance. Over. I've got this. Oh, here we go. There it is. Oh, my gosh. Good. Bring so, uh, yeah, I've got the beta Photoshop open right now. Let me see. Let me. Uh, just bring up regular. So here uh, we are in now. Photoshop. John here Reed. we are in Photoshop. Okay, so what am I going to make? I'm going to make something here. Let me just. Well, someone that you can select, or you know, a couple of things you can select from. Yeah, here I just happen to have this uh, picture. Uh, I don't know. This is a random picture I picked out. This is my. <laughs> this Fun. is my very tall, my very tall, uh, thirteen-year-old son here, and he, he would be mortified. And the shades so and the he, yeah, he's kind of obsessed with uh, Breaking Bad, or there it was kind of a phase. Uh, <laughs> now I'm not it that bad of a, a dad that I let him watch like all these episodes or anything like that. Well, that's another discussion right there. But anyway, he wanted to be Heisenberg for Halloween, so there we go. <laughs> and then Halloween um, so, was he was still Heisenberg. And uh, just chime in if you can't see, because, I mean, again, I'm on a wide monitor. I've, I've lowered the resolution, so it hopefully it's not too annoying. And uh, let's see. I guess. How, how, how wide is it, though? It's uh, 17, 17 and a half feet. No, I don't know. It's, uh, what, what is it, uh, 34? Something, something like that. Wow, that's too big. Yeah. You'd think I would know, but uh, I have another one. I have a slightly bigger one at work, but... Uh, I, I just like the real estate because you know I do video editing and stuff like sure. that, so um, it's nice. I'll so uh, yeah, screen. I'm sorry. I'll go into full screen view so people can see a bit more. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I can I can zoom in too if I, if I need to. There we go. There we in go. The layer. So in yeah. the layer. Always name your layers, kids. There we go. So I named it, uh, and I hope I don't make anybody. It be Heisenberg, this. not Aaron. Oh yeah, thank you. Right. <laughs> uh, then Aaron, I think is that. that That's good. Bill Heisen, right? Sure, why not? Any German, any German friends? All right, let's see. So, um, but 
speaking of neural filters, uh, hey, we could play around. Let's do a let's do a neural filter. I mean, what can we do? How are we going to focus on the masking now? Oh, okay. Them. Yeah, let's do that. I know we had questions about the neural filters. I just completely abandoned it. But, you can uh, have fun yeah. too, you know. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's try um, camera raw. Let's go to camera raw. That's why I made it a smart object so we can go work non-destructively. And uh, so here I am. I'm gonna and how did you get there to let people know? Oh, yeah, my bad. Okay, so, uh, yeah, here's how you get there in case. Uh, uh, now, I, I don't know, for some reason, my I've got the spinning ball of doom now for some reason. Uh -oh. By the way, uh, this week I'm getting the new MacBook uh, M2 Max. I don't know why I'm just oh, great, but the M2, nice. very excited. So hopefully you won't be getting any of this. <laughs> okay. It is kind of a misbehaving so right now. It's, Okay, so here we are. So at the top menu up here, you go up to filter. Sure. You have all your other options, uh, you know, layer, right. filter, 3D, etc. And we go to camera raw filter. Da, 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 da. And there it is. And you got all these, you like your Lightroom stuff in here. So here on the right. So the icon have, on the left. Yeah, yeah masking. Nice. So, and there's there's so many uh, great things. Camera raw uh, filter is like my favorite playground. It's, it's the, the greatest thing. <clears throat> so you can select sky background. Uh, let's for now let's select subject because that's the one that that I use the most. And then you can go in and uh, adjust uh, maybe his contrast just a tad. Um, highlights maybe highlights for now. I guess I can leave that. Shadows, uh, not a whole lot needs to be done. Maybe bump the contrast up a bit. It's all subjective, you know. It's like whatever you're kind of feeling. Uh, you have your your uh, temperature controls here. Nice. Uh, and again, and this is oh, I'm so glad. Now it's now we can have some fun. Yeah, hey, good to see you. Good job yesterday, Andrea. That was that was in, enjoyable watching you guys. Uh, so yeah, right. so your curve map and this subject is nothing can easily change the tonal correction, yeah. the color. Nice. Yeah, and your your texturing. If you want, to, this is kind of a, a quick and cheap way to to soften skin. Uh, I mean, I'm, I use it very very sparingly though, because you do too much and it just makes everything blurry. But uh, yeah, can bump up clarity or again, what you're feeling is all kind of subjective. Anyway, so it. The point being, it does an amazing job. You see my mask over here? Made a perfect selection right there. Yeah, nice. Just with one click. Bada bing. And uh, if you want, I could uh, duplicate and invoit the mask. And now I'm editing wow. everything that's around him or supposedly behind him here. So if I wanted, I could uh, go back up here and, I don't know, drop the exposure a little bit. Maybe drop the highlights a little bit. Kind of draw more attention. You know, I don't know. You can even go to like, uh, was it color grading section and make it almost like a do it tone or something? Oh, yeah. Like and you can certainly do that. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, I, I play around a lot with. That. Unless it doesn't let you, though. It might. Like once do you're I... masked, if you're masked, if you're in the mask, it might not let you go to color grading. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Well, you can, you have other uh, adjustments here. I mean, you can, you know. You can switch other. the colors a bit, though. Yeah, like you can uh, give them like a Pink Floyd kind of a thing here. <laughs> and uh, Andrea says, "Bada Bing." And if you don't like that, by the way, you can always just like uh, it's like, "What was I thinking? I must have been smoking crack." I don't know what. Double click <laughs> on this little uh, little guy here, and hopefully you're not smoking crack. I mean, come on. I think we're smoking. Drag the shift color in your image. <laughs> and then you can just double click on that, and it'll go back to default, back to your, your nice. zero position. So, um, cool. Yeah. But, and then, and here's another thing. I, I, I would go back you have up a question. here. Question. Oh, got a question. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just wailing away what here. Is, go what ahead. Is he eating? <laughs> what is he eating? Uh, that's a, what are you eating? I mean, when's he not eating? That's the question. Um, 
looks like a, d a donut or a I'm thinking roll. so just, I was going to do something if, if we had time in, in Express I was going to make like a Heisenberg's Donuts <laughs> advertisement well, why don't you save this out and then jump into uh, Express I don't want to I'm, I'm hogging up the, the fun time too. it's fine and, okay this is a well, this is that a I've hogged it before for your turn <laughs> You're, you're very, you're a very kind man. I, I am not worried. Uh, okay, I know this is not like for everybody, but I personally kind of like to just bring in a little tiny, with, with at least with pictures like this, just a tiny bit of vignetting. Vignette, so nice. it just brings, brings him out just a tiny bit. I don't. That's just me, and I'm crazy, you know. <clears throat> Why is my, my, my system's running really slow, dude? I, I apologize to every, everybody on planet Earth. Well, maybe but, uh, save it as a JPEG, bring it in Express, and have fun there. And yeah, play. yeah. Or you know what? You know, better yet, I'm gonna save it to my library. Uh, it's a good way of working too, right? And uh, just to show that you know you can uh, PNG. Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, let's so see. How do you save it to your library? Oh, I save it to my library. Let's see what? Okay, here's what I do. This is crazy, but. Uh, Open up my libraries. Library. Libraries. Give it a minute. And then uh, I'm just going to do that. Boink. And, ooh. Oh, and uh, yeah, then maybe I'll do the smartest thing because my upload speed is crap. <laughs> so maybe I should uh, make a smaller version. Let me make a small layer. And we'll flatten it too so it's not, you know. Holy cow, it's gigantic. And this is like planet that. Earth is fine with your computer speed. It's what? With planet my, Earth is fine is? with your computer speed. Planet Earth. <laughs> I'm so happy because, you know, I feel like I, uh, I feel like an alien sometimes. You know, do you ever get that feeling, or is it just me? When when no, you I, see the screen ever, baseball, <laughs> do you ever feel like okay, this is not me. I haven't been smoking anything, but do you ever feel like? Uh, and I want some validation on this. Do you ever feel like, you know, you're having one of those days and you feel like you're on some sadistic alien reality show and you're like, where's the hidden camera? You know, you ever feel that no. way? I, I, no. great. Well, thanks. I feel so much better now. <laughs> okay. So save my life. You're an amazing alien, John. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, thanks. You really, truly are. Stop smoking, John. <laughs> Says <Amy. laughs> Uh, see, I knew it. We, I, I'm so it's glad. Saturday, I'm Saturday. It's Saturday. <laughs> Keep me in check. All right, so, so here uh, we are in Adobe Express, and you got that. Yeah, you through. got uh, So here we are. Okay, I'm in my Adobe Express uh, panel here, and here. So let me have, just uh, uh, remind people that they can get to expo Express at oh, Adobe.com/slash/express yeah. or Express.adobe.com. That's right. Adobe Express. Either one. We get to get to the place. And the free version does give you uh, quite a bit of stuff, but man, uh, with just a nominal subscription fee, man, it just unlocks a, a universe of cool stuff. Nice. Right, okay. So let's uh, li bring it on. Libraries. Libraries. And there I'll look you there. Well, hallelujah. I mean, I was a little worried, to be honest with you, because my upload speed, but there it is. In fact, it even uploaded the, uh, the, the twice, one, which is, yeah, it's the, the both, both that I, uh, Uploaded templates. Um, maybe it's having to uh, try it again. Try it again. Well, maybe you have to create from. Oh, I got it. Uh, yeah. Well, instead of libraries, go out to home and then. Start yes, yes. Thank you. And then when you upload, the, you can. Usually it. I just drag into this. So thank you. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Walk me through this again here. We, we have to move maybe where it's choose uh, Instagram post. Like okay. Yeah, let's do that. Guide. Hey, we'll pick a uh, we'll pick a thing here. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, gift guide. Just click that. We'll, we'll start from scratch. 1080 by 1080. Let's start, let's start from scratch. I, I like to. Uh, I mean, I know I like to scratch, but uh, I don't know about you guys. But it's like DJ. It's always fun. Okay, so uh, here you're gonna. Okay, we're gonna bring in um, something from our libraries. And here's my images. There it is. Right. And let's see, once the JPEG, <laughs> oh, that must be it. So uh, actually, kind of on the puny side, I'm going to bring in the uh, the big full res one. 
Well, I think if you then click on it, you can see add to background and it'll resize. Yeah. I'm, so, uh, right. I don't know. I'm going to be obstinate and weird. I'm going to just resize it first. And uh, <laughs> doing the hard uh, way. He'd be so mad if I, he knew I was uh, doing this to him. Don't tell me. Don't tell him. I mean, all right. So there it is. And uh, yeah, I can. Uh, uh, and then just, uh, real quick, we have a question from Rose. Any yeah. chance of having Adobe Express as a separate to the subscription? Yeah, there is a there is a free version, uh, but as John was saying, if you go up to the premium version, you pay for it with your Adobe Creative Cloud, yes. and you um, get much more options. So more templates, oh, yeah. more options. Yeah, but there is a freebie up there. So, all right, all right. So there now it, now it's a it's a project. Great, and we. Uh, Add some text and stuff. We have that. So yeah, let's add some text. Uh, let's see. Well, text is a good place to start. And we have some a, a ton of like pre-done ones here that you can go in and edit. Um, logos, uh, seasonal Andrew stuff. Woohoo, let's hear it for Wi-Fi speeds. It's doing great, John. I know. So far, so good. That's not don't jinx it though, okay? <laughs> I can on wood here. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> well, that we we got a spot of good weather here, so that's on our side. Seems like whenever we have bad weather, the internet gets all. And thank you, thank you for keeping my secret safe. Right. Um, let's see. Um, that's kind of okay. I'm just gonna do this here. Want? <laughs> I'm not gonna change. I'm gonna change the text. And uh, I don't know. Kind of like to rotate it maybe a little bit here. Uh, Let's try. Uh, let's try here, maybe. Or you can call this like uh, Heisenberg's donuts. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. All right. So uh, you already had that in mind, huh? I did. I don't know why. It's it, it's true. I already had it in mind. So okay. So this is a group here. So the, all this here is moving together. It's a group. You can see it says edit group. What you can do here? You can go in here. And uh, you can double click, or you can. Well, that's what I do. I just double click, and I put Heisenberg. I think I spelled that right. Donuts. Yeah, that looks good. Isn't nice. that beautiful? I like the donuts inside. is larger too, right? That's nice. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. It's all kind of uh, aligned and sized without me having to do any uh, like serious brain power there. So it's wonderful. Um. Maybe that uh, one second, Rose, Rose says, uh, seems you have to have a full subscription to have access to it, which I find too expensive. No, there is a free version. So once again, Great. if you go to, yes. here it is, here it is. If you go to adobe.com express, you can jump right in uh, working with the free version. Um, and then if you wanted to try some of the more advanced options, then yes, you would have to pay for premium. Okay, so I like the colors behind it too. Now the purple and the it kind of orange. kind of works out there. Uh, it was uh, totally planned that you know. Uh, so uh, I don't know, maybe not covering up his face. Yeah, so in the much, right, bottom right, maybe. Yeah, I think I'll. Uh, okay, so I'm going to command minus sign and kind of zoom out just a bit so I can see my handles here. So I bring those up. I think I make his uh, his picture a little smaller. That way I can. Not cover him up as much. No, Andrea so says this pick reminds me of the Snickers commercials, not going anywhere for a not while. Not going anywhere for a while? Yep, that's right. Snickers really satisfies. It's nutty like me. All right. So uh, anyway, and uh, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe add some more text. And I just want to add my own text because uh, that's fine. That's right. Just, I'm a control freak. <laughs> um, and then you have all these options on the right, which is nice. Hmm, methy. <laughs> That's a real theme with you today. Yeah. Is something you well, want to I mean, <laughs> and there you go. But you can't really see it that great. That great. So what we can do is we can try to bring it out a little bit. I don't like that color, shadow color. Let's make it black. And I'm not really crazy about the font either. No Nobody. problem. We'll just <laughs> change the font over here. Let's see, uh, what can we change it to? It's not 
dropping down. It's not behaving. It's me, I'm sure. I've done something to irritate it. Oh, it's not. How about I just type something in? How about I just type in a. Uh, it's not changing my text. I don't. That's no fun. Come on, drop down. I know you want to do it. Well, maybe we're just going to keep it there. I just was uh, leaving. It looks pretty good, though. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, there we are. Everybody. And uh, it, uh, I, I did something that obviously just, uh, that's probably not, that's not very uplifting uh, messaging there. Let's say. It's not politically correct. It's not. I'm sorry. I'm. I am so sorry. I'm sorry. I hope I'm not getting in, in, on any watch lists or anything here with my behavior. Uh, so yeah. But anyway. Uh, okay. And, and I had one thing that I, I wanted to show you. Can I? Can I <laughs> well, you're too kind. And what's great is where's the save button? There's no save button. It just saves your work. You know, as you go. So that's. Okay, but that's, how do you download it if you want to? Oh. Well, you can't. It's right there. You just have to go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so over here to your upper right, you got download and share options. You can't. It's, it's, it's eternally stuck in the... Is it? Can you can you see it okay? Yeah, I can see it. Download, yeah. Okay, okay great, great. I wasn't sure, sure it was showing the right um, <clears throat> section of screen there. Yeah, All right. Cool. So uh, download. So you have options here. I'm a big fan of PNG. If you can't do PSD, then, uh, well, PNG is... Uh, Pretty great. You can do the PNG with a transparent background if you happen to have something that doesn't have a background. It'll re retain that transparency, which is pretty nifty. And then, uh, yeah, let's do that. We'll start download here. And we're going to save it to the desktop. Uh oh, here they come. Yeah, my street always has the. Uh... Is that my ride? Okay. No, the funny thing is, you know, sirens. You know, it could be disturbing for people, but for me, I hear them so often living in different cities that they're kind of relaxing to me now. Kind of like a yeah, like everything's normal. <laughs> but, but then again, we have we have a dog next door that will will howl when the sirens go by. Mm. Oh. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> it hurts their poor little ears. Yeah. So anyway, that was that was a really simple example, but uh, I'm gonna show something real quick, if 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 I may. Sorry, Andrew. I feel like I'm. Sure. I didn't. You're hogging it. This is, something I did, this is something I did back. Uh, it's your turn to hog it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. There, this, this was a kind of a, a, a I guess, a, a, not a hack, but uh, How'd you do it's, How'd you do it? it's just a thing. Okay. So you saw did this. Uh, it's just a fun thing I did for around Super Bowl time, just showing somebody how, how um, express Bring works. your own bananas. That's right. Uh, bring your own bananas, you know, BYOB. Uh, so Speaking there's the Super Bowl. Yeah. So I made this, I made this logo and I, I haven't updated it yet, but I, I actually updated it in Photoshop where uh, the, uh, as you can see, the uh, part of the face guard, see, I, I overlaid it there, but then I brought it into Photoshop and, uh, and just cut that out and did a little bit of lighting to make it kind of sell the fact that it was, actually on the helmet, uh, but uh, you get the idea that that's not what I was going to talk about. This this little bit here, let's see, let me go to my layers. The layers are here. Okay, this is this is kind of nutty, and I, I don't know. You see where I'm, where I'm focusing on there? Where the layers graph. Yep. See, it looks like a little dot there. Okay, so okay. I found this graphic. I wanted a, I wanted a glow there. So um, if I turn it off, you see, it's just a circle. So I, what I did was I went into um, design app or shapes. I'm sorry, shapes, and I just typed in circle. And right, so you have all those circle. access to different shapes. So type in any, gives you a whole yeah. variety. So yeah, I brought in a, so I brought in this uh, thing here. Okay, and uh, I wanted a, I wanted a kind of a gradient glow kind of thing. And uh, I'm sorry, that, that was the wrong uh, thing to bring in. I meant to bring in design assets. So sorry. Or design assets, if not shapes. Design assets, right. Sorry. For those of you taking notes, just, just cross that out. <laughs> uh, so, and I found, oh, here we go. Good one, bro. So I, found, I think it was this one here. 
So it's just a just like a clip art thing. That's not a very good one. I must have like what I use. Maybe it was this one. This one? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here. So I wanted this background radiant glow, right? Uh, so uh, change color. I, uh, change the color. So uh, yeah. So yeah, I just went up here under filter it, under effects. Yeah. Filter, yeah. And uh, did that and did that. Okay, and this is again, maybe not the way to do it, but it's how I managed and it, it worked. And then I blurred blur the, the heck out of it here. Let's see. There we go. So you have a slider, you can really blur that sucker. But see, it kind of made this uh it kind of made this uh gradient glow kind of thing. It's thinking, it's thinking, thinking. And how do you get it behind the helmet? Oh, well, that's easy enough. You could just take it right here in your layers uh, panel. See where my grabber nice. is? Boop. Nice. And just drag that sucker down behind the helmet. And there it is. Well, let's see. Since I blew it up and made it bigger, I mean to increase the glow probably. Oh, oh, yeah, not you. I wanted uh, to be able to select that layer there. Yeah, right there. So I don't know. Does that make sense? And um, yeah, and then you could just make the blur a little the, bit stronger. To, there we yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that gives yeah. a nice glow to it. Yeah, excellent. So uh, it was just like again a silly little hack that I came up with and made a little. Oh, and uh, there's another thing here. Um, so you see that it's kind of cutting off there. So you can go into crop and just uh, bring out that crop as big as it will. Oh well. I think I just uncropped the, the wrong thing because I'm a dork. <laughs> Sorry. Isn't this fun, folks? Okay. Yeah, let's throw the blur, though. But, so, yeah, you take it and you just blow that crop out. And then you said, uh, whose house? John's house. <laughs> sport ball. Come, Bring come see sports ball. Bring, B Y O D. Bring your own Doritos. All right. So, anyway, that, that, that's the, the gist of it. There, so Andrew says dorks are cool. Well, I don't know about that. Well, <laughs> well anyway, yeah. So, I, I yeah, I, I, probably all of y'all already knew that. I'm not showing you anything different. So, uh, oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, you guys are like 500 times more talented than me. <laughs> that's pretty nice, anyway. I like. But I got a Zen Slap shirt. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Should I have fun? Jump into Photoshop and do a little Express too. Yeah. You can tell me. I'll, I'll let you like give me some ideas. Oh. Sound good? Oh, hey, how about we take uh, suggestions? We can uh, yeah, maybe and Andrea we take requests. What do you think? <laughs> I'd like to see. I'd like to see one of your famous composites. Like I'd see like over your shoulder, you making one of your. Oh, I'm not sure famous. I'm going to do all that, but uh, well, okay, <laughs> all right. All right. So here's an image. I'm going to just say open with Photoshop. Oh, that's some some cool imagery there. Some of these pictures, did you take some of the, a lot of these yourself? I'm just, I've always wondered. No, no, no. This is uh, Pexels. You can see from the title. Oh, Pexels. really? That's amazing. I do a mixture that's, that's of great. taking my own photos and then also going to stock sites like Pexels. But so you do Pexels you do to take some of your own shots? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I, I, but you know, I I do rely on uh, some free stock sites like Pexels, which is fine. A absolutely. Um, yeah. There's some so many good ones out there. Yep. So here's uh, the image, and then I just do a simple Command J to make a copy of that okay. and turn off the background. And then I'm a big fan of uh, the Properties panel. So in general, when you're in Photoshop, if you can't find something, you just go up to Window, and then there's a big list of all the different things. So in general, if your layers were missing, you show up, your layers are missing, you would just go to Window, Layers, and boom, there it is. Do so, you have a, I, sorry, Andrew, no, do you have a, no, so I'm, I'm curious, is, speaking of windows, do you have a, do you have your own personal like preference uh, workspace? Like a, like, like whenever I open mine, uh, I, I have a specific workspace that, sure. I, that so, I go back to. So under window, besides uh, a list of the different panels you can get to, you'll notice at the top, it says arrange, and then you can arrange things a certain way, like 
tile all horizontally or vertically, consolidate to tabs, et cetera, float all in windows, very nice. And then underneath it says workspace. So under mine, I just named it my name. So I do have my own workspace, Andrew Cavanaugh. So as an example, if I were to choose photography, you'll notice that the panels change. So it might start off with these kind of uh, this layout of the different panels. And then you can arrange your panels to what you work with, and then you can save it. So you can save it as your own. So I keep mine pretty simple, focused on layers, but then I have my actions, which I built throughout the years. Ooh, Ooh look at that. It's That's impressive, man. <laughs> Yours then, blows my eye out of the water. <laughs> yep, and then above that, I have my history, so I can jump back sometimes. And then the one that I'm going to work on now is uh, properties, which I'll get to soon. And then above that is my <clears throat> adjustments. So that'd be like, a you know, adjustment layers where I'd yeah. be able to add, say, levels or curves or like a um, photo mm -hmm. filter. And it would become mm -hmm. its own layer above what I'm working on. So I can use a layer mask, turn it on, turn it off, etc. The and then uh, clone source. So normally when I do retouching, I will have the show overlay and clipped turned off. But if I ever want to do retouching that is aligned to like a straight line, I turn on show overlay and clip. So it gives me a preview as I go. So, yeah, so these are the ones I keep open. Oh, and let's not forget a little shout out to one of my favorite plugins. Oh, there it is. Infinite oh, color. Yeah. So I can just, you know, change the intensity. Well, might as well do it, right? <coughs> Aren't we a visual crowd? So <laughs> I just yeah, change the intensity absolutely. up a little bit. I just hit the create button and oh. boom, it does this nice yeah. color. There. And if I want a oh. variation, I just keep cl clicking create and it oh, cycles it'll randomize. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And not only does it cycle through the color, but it will also change. If I open up over here, you'll notice that it has a breakdown of curves, color balance, select a color gradient map and color lookup. And so you will get a range of contrasts as well. And this one, I like the contrast. So I'm just going to, I'll keep that. But I'm going to turn it off for now. Go to layer one, go to my properties panel. And sometimes when you open it, it looks like this. So if it looks like this, or even this is oh. missing. You mm -hmm. see just transform a line district. You need to go to the bottom yes. middle, pull it down to expand, click the little arrow to the left, and then you have remove background. Which oh, was a pretty good knockout. Perfect. And yeah. then I can turn on infinite color. I can shift click the top and just do a command E and make mm -hmm. a solid layer. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then let's see. The only thing is, you know, they are talking about the ability to bring in like layered files into uh, Adobe Express, but that'll be nice because then you'll be able to bring oh, in. Oh, yeah. Um, that would be. Yes. Right. Because as far as I know, you can. Know, and Andrea's here, so let's ask Andrea. Um, as far as it is now, you can only bring in a JPEG or a PNG file, right? But with this, I guess I can get rid of the background. And then I will do the uh, file. Well, so you guys, I'm so used to just doing Command, Option, Shift, W, and then go to the Export As window. And then instead of JPEG, I can choose PNG with transparency. So it's doing a little save. Now you see the preview with the little checkerboard background showing transparency. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then I will export. Hit export. And uh, let's see, what was the uh, stock? I think it had a, just a stock um, folder. So I'm just going to do a simple search stock mm -hmm. on my mm -hmm. desktop. Um, I'll just say stock images, and I'll just call it um, differentiate from the other one. I'll just say woman. It's really there a sculpture. To, you know, the, yeah. Okay, so I save that. That's Milo before the accident. That's right. So then I go to Chrome, and I already have Adobe Express open in a tab. And so therefore, once again, once you're there, and uh, let me jump over to full screen view so you can see. Uh, once you're there, I have 
as John said before, you can go to like your projects area and then there's a variety of projects. So these are different ones I've worked on, some with John, different lives. Hey, I can, <laughs> I can always just go to the home section and you can either click the plus sign and then you get all these different options, custom size graphic, and then you can also yeah. from your photo, open up something, et cetera, et cetera, Instagram post yeah. story, and then there's a whole That's variety so of quick nice. actions. Quite nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really or I could nice. say Instagram post, click here. It's a blank canvas, but then I can. Um, I like a good blank canvas. Go to photos on the left, say upload photo, go to stock images, let that uh, spiral. Dun, dun, dun. There's one <laughs> here. Me. There she is. What's that? And boom. Bring that down. And then it already automatically has the uh, little control points. So just kind of click and pull. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to move it to the left. And then, therefore, I can um, say choose solid color. Let's do something a little bit nice. It'd be like a lighter version. Yeah. It looks like a, maybe a, book, a book cover. I'm, uh, I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. You gave me an idea. Uh, okay. Is that, book cover. Is that good, Andrea? A book cover? Is that what I should focus on? There? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to say book cover, too. So when I go to text, I just say book cover and hit return, and then automatically see what they might suggest for me. A little limited, though. 15 results. I'm kind of surprised. They usually have a lot. So... Uh, it almost looks like she's holding an iPhone. She's FaceTiming someone. It's, uh, I don't know. See what happens if I type in iPhone. What kind of suggestions they give me? <clears throat> yeah. Let me just go back to uh, get rid of that and just go back to the general templates. Uh, kind of like this. So it's obviously not food, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's <laughs> no. a little too see-through, right? Okay, so I like this one. A little bit of see-through, but I'll give it a title. So what's the name of the book, John? <laughs> nice. Uh, let's see. Um, and Andrea says, she's so modern. She's so modern. That she is, yeah. She's like getting ready to take There's a selfie. IPhone again. Good, good for her. Getting, staying with the, you know, on the trend, the current technology trends. I don't so know. I double call this book. I double click what it. Call what should I call it? Something iPhone? Like... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Classic uh, iPhone tricks. How to get along with curmudgeons. No, um, I don't know. Classic iPhone <clears throat> tips. Classic iPhone tips. Class, I like that. It's one one more S there. Okay, you extra here. S in there to make it. There you go. Very nice. <laughs> Classic um, iPhone tips by Andrew Kavanaugh. Classic iPhone tips. There you go. That sounds yes. weird. <laughs> and uh, the, another, I like the font recommendations thing. I, I often ignore it, but I appreciate it. And sometimes it gives me ideas, um, but I shouldn't ignore it because usually their recommendations are <laughs> probably better than mine. But anyway. All right, so here I am. And uh, one thing I don't like is the spacing of things too much. So you'll notice on the right, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. edit text so first i can change you know one line is classic then iphone then tips i change that over mm -hmm. here in the edit text section you can change right. the font itself here yeah yeah and then change the size and then there's different alignment options so i'm fine with it being middle aligned but then for spacing i click that i can do the line spacing and kind of bring it together a little bit and then uh, click back on it and then here so i can change the um opacity of it it's interesting how it changes to yellow when i just go to change the opacity that's interesting yeah and then uh well, it's a I, thing yeah so if it turns on the shadow so the shadow mm -hmm. is part of this kind of font style mm -hmm. then i can click here for the shadow color and then maybe i'll make like a darker blue 
Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Yeah, it kind of got an interesting effect. Yeah, like before it kind of integrated. Now it's kind of like floating yeah. above. Oh, I kind of like that. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's something different. Very readable. <laughs> there you go. Well, it's you know. Not, <laughs> not too readable, but <laughs> I think it's pretty creative. Well, I can read it. I mean, what's the problem? <laughs> but yeah. That's right. It's work great. a little bit, people. Work a little <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Have some imagination. <laughs> tips. And I could go back to text and then, you know, something like that. So, complaining. Some... <laughs> That's a great <laughs> title, Andrea. <laughs> and then a little awesome. kind of quote about it, you know. So, in oh, this yeah. case, it's not related, but I think it looks all right. So, maybe uh, an now, endorsement from I'm my just curious. Case. You're going to say? Nothing. I'm just blabbering on. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Saturday or something? <laughs> you think. <laughs> so, Whoa, that made that big. Oh, dude. I, I like where this is going. I make it longer. Oh, yeah. Look at you with your thing. Yeah. Or weird. Or maybe she <laughs> could be she could be in the uh, on the iPhone screen, or maybe. I I get rid of that one. So yeah, simple just delete gets rid of it. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, something. yeah. So here's yeah, little kind of yeah. shape iPhone and and uh, I I don't know if uh, if you guys watching oh, can geez. see but um, when Andrew typed in iPhone you got almost 8500 8, uh, there are 8493 additional shapes including uh, in addition to the ones that we're seeing so that blows my mind I mean, I think you're never at a loss for assets. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nice. You know, you do sh shapes or design assets and just put in a particular, you know, subject and then such a variety shows up. So here's just a symbol to go with it. Might be a little large so I can go to the corner, pull it down, make it a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know, here or at the bottom, John? I, I the like bottom? the bottom fine. Yeah, yeah, the oh, bottom is a little more area there. Yeah. And then so it's not overpowering the title, I can go over to the right where it says edit shape and pull down the opacity slider. Oops. Mm -hmm. I need to save, but it's saving, which is fine. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's saving so slow on my M1. Was going to be with Whoa. your M1. I jumped out. So there it is. It kept it. So that's good to know. Yeah. It kept it. All I did was go back to my projects and I'm back. Andrew says crop her into the phone, but I think that would be too small. But for the sake of fun, let's bring this over here. Yeah, yeah I was just wondering if you could. Larger. Oh, there's. Uh, oh, I see. I go to layer the panel. Bring it underneath. Hey, that's an interesting take. Oh, it's fun, right? So all you have to hey. do is click on. Elements to just be able to move them, resize them. Yeah, yeah it's really yeah, so. I'll use it as a frame for her. That's kind of cool. Thank you, Andrea. Nice designs. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <coughs> Looks good. Yeah. So yes, it would, it would, would be nice. I don't know if this is a this is something that, that might be doable, but I would have a suggestion. You were talking about the spacing, the vertical spacing. It'd be nice if you could adjust your vertical spacing. Uh, without having to resort to, you know, separate layers. Does that make sense? Uh, I did do that. You're talking about Show this? Me. For the classic I iPhone yeah. yeah, so for the classic iPhone tips, I went to the spacing section and then for oh, the there line. is a the line spacing. Yeah. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah, I, did that I, was, I was thinking about kerning for some reason. And uh, yeah, okay. You know what? Right. I think I'm they had his spacing. I'm just... Uh, yeah, I blame the antihistamines. It's right. So I can do letter spacing, and I can do line spacing. So there's yeah, that. no, that's that's great. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, so I was thinking new book, classic iPhone tips. Uh huh. Get available in stores Barnes now. What is it? <laughs> yeah, I was just saying Barnes and Noble. You get it at your Barnes and Noble. So, and then uh, one thing I'm a big fan of, so I'm going to just try, even though this could be a static image, is 
I click out and I'll just you know click on the white outside. If I go to animation, I like oh, the yeah. text animation effect. It's fantastic. So I can so have that kind of effect. And then once yeah. I've done that, I can go to download and it top option is MP4 video that I can download. So I can upload that to say Facebook, Instagram, and have like a, a promo for my new book, classic iPhone tips. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> so let's get, well, back. I've had, I've had a lot of fun. I feel like yeah, my Barnes and Noble. Right? Yeah, might make a Barnes and Noble run with the kids. Who knows? Yeah, so uh, you know, playing a little bit in Photoshop, bringing it to Adobe Express. As you can see, it's so easy to work with Adobe Express. Big fan. So, uh, oh man! Once again, it's, it's you get so to Express at Adobe.com/express or Express.Adobe.com. And uh, thanks everyone for attending. And uh, let us let me remind you where you can follow us online. So, first is do subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com digital art drew that's digital art drew on youtube please subscribe and watch me and john's various lives and other people such as andrea bats latson's lives yep. and uh you can find me on behance.net at drew cav and instagram digital artist drew he's uh, everywhere see. and you said so much fun and then john so you can find, that's, and then you can find john at pixelingo media on LinkedIn at Pixelingo, on Instagram as Pixelingo JW. Was oh, it already man, taken? Gotta... Was Pixelingo no, on no. Instagram already taken? Uh, Pixelingo was already taken. Go figure, huh? Uh, but um, there's I only one been, Pixelingo, and that's you. I haven't been on the gram in a long time, man. I've, I, I gotta, I gotta get on that. Man. It's not as fun as the other ones, you know. I just been and just uh, been, uh, I imagine and the reminder, but... Oh yeah. You're interrupting again. I didn't mean to. <laughs> You're the interrupter. You need to get a T-shirt. I am the interrupter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. I'm just going to go back I to sleep. I am the great interrupter. <laughs> I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm the great interrupter. <laughs> All right. So All right. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> he interrupts again. <laughs> okay. So just a reminder again to... If you aren't already in the group, please join the Photoshop and Lightroom group, facebook.com slash groups, Photoshop Lightroom group, and the Building Every Day group, the Digital Art and AI Art group, facebook.com slash groups, the Digital Art group. So do join those groups. And once again, remember to subscribe for more digital art, Photoshop and photography, focused live streams, Adobe Express live streams, youtube.com digital art drew. And we have a little comment here. A laughing hand. And Andrea says, thank you. So yes, thanks thank everyone for attending. Thank you so much, John. <laughs> Love you guys. Uh, thanks for coming. Quite good. Good Quite night. Fun, right? <laughs> Thanks, everybody. All right. Yep. Yeah.